Hi folks, this is just a short video. Um, I'm currently doing a few bits to my Newtonian and uh, getting it ready for Galaxy Season because I haven't used it for a long time. It is a Skywatcher 250PX. Now it's the Dobsonian tube. Um, I had it like this. It came with scope rings and on a Vixen dovetail. Um, a guy passed it on to me. So um, I used to use it on my NEQ6 to do some imaging. But what I didn't like was the stop focus. The stop focus is awful. I, I find a lot of Skywatcher focuses on a lot of scopes. Not great. I find them quite weak, the, the uh, Crayford ones anyway. Um, unless you go like the high end ones, which are the um, Esprits and that. But um, anything low end than that, I just. Because the uh, the focus shaft on the Crayford it only contacts two small lights, small parts of the tube. Yes, you can flatten them out so it makes more contact, but. I don't know, I just don't find them very good. And plus you, have, you usually have a lot of lot of the uh, tube protruding into the tube anyway, of the focus tube, inside the tube of the scope, if that makes sense. So I just got a generic um, one from Flow, it was on offer. Um, and uh, it's from Astro Essentials. I mean, I think they're quite generic. I've seen other, other ones exactly the same, just without the branding. Um, so it's not um, a high-end one, but already it feels better. It's a low-profile one. But what I didn't like about it, because it's a one-size-fits-all, it had light showing on, on through the sides, from the front and back. So if you've got any light leakage, it'll, it could affect your images. So I thought, hmm, what can I do? I've got some um, door... Uh, draft foam, you know, what you stick around your doors. I've got some of that. I put a couple of strips of that on, screwed it down, it seems to work a treat. I'll show you what I mean. This is the scope itself. Um, 254 mil, 1200 mil focal length. So it's nice, not bad for galaxies and some smaller uh, objects. It's an f4.8, so it's pretty much the same as a PDS. I mean, it'd be nice to get a bigger mirror on the front, I suppose, the uh, secondary. But now, if I mean, I'll put a bright light to the focuser, you can see what I mean, that foam there. But the design of it, because it's flat, I'm trying to get the ang angle right there, there you go. You can see it. And there's light that gets in either side and you can see it but now I'll shine a light behind it and the foam is at the back there's absolutely no light coming through both sides I mean I did think about using tape but I thought mm, a bit of a bodge I don't like the idea of that so I've used this I have I did start flocking the scope some years back so the top ends around the focus area and that is all done so if I continue to flop the rest of it, which I may do at some point, I can just continue on back. So the focus on now can stay where it is. I've got to take it out. So yeah, um, all in all, whenever I get a first light with it, I don't know. Um, or a first light again, I suppose, because I have imaged with it before. Uh, the, the knobs I use for the, on the secretary for um, column eight aren't Bob's knobs. They're just something on eBay. That were cheap, cheap, cheerful, and they work. Plus, they're black as well, which it's got to be better than having the silver knobs on the end. But yeah, but all in all, this is the scope I'm going to be using in uh, when Galaxy Season starts next year. Oh, the secondary's been painted as well at the back, so it's, we can see it's all black. But that's about as far as I got. But the thing I like about that, I mean, that is the focus of fully in. That's going out. And fully in. And you can adjust the focus with a, like a rough focus on it as well. So you can get you put your camera on, get it. So you've got a, a close focus and then just finish off with the focus itself. The focus for itself. Um, I probably will fit an autofocus to it at some point, but for the time being, 
I'll just leave it as it is. Uh, there you are. That's just a quick rundown of what I've done anyway to this scope. Um, so hopefully I'll get to use it again soon. But yeah, it's a nice scope. I've had it a few years now. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, clear skies, everyone. Cheers. Thanks for watching.